JAMA Network. You can't outwardly see that so there's anything wrong with someone with fibromyalgia. They've often gone uh, 10, 15, 20 years going to different doctors with pain in different areas of their body. Fibromyalgia patients are more likely to feel that pain throughout the musculoskeletal areas, but can also have headaches or pain in the jaw, abdomen, and bladder. Dr. Daniel Claw from the University of Michigan examined the medical literature on fibromyalgia over the last 50 years. He says this condition is related to disturbances in how the brain processes pain and other sensory information. That's a fundamentally different type of pain that's coming more from the brain and spinal cord than it is coming from the area of the body where someone's experiencing the pain. The review appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. We really need to use quite different treatments than we use for pain that is coming from a problem in your knee or a problem in your elbow. Dr. Claw says many patients are also treated with narcotics and opioids to control this pain. These drugs have never been shown to be effective in fibromyalgia, and there's some evidence now that these uh, drugs might actually be making people with conditions like fibromyalgia worse. What is proving to be effective? Education. About half the risk of developing fibromyalgia is related to family history and physical and psychological stress. Symptoms often start in children and young adults and can also affect men. Treatments include behavioral therapy and exercise like yoga and tai chi. Also, in the last 20 years, three specific medications have been approved to treat fibromyalgia. The majority of patients with fibromyalgia can get quite a bit of improvement in their symptoms and lead a very normal life. If you use the right drugs and if you are aggressive about using a lot of these other non-drug therapies. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.